the current ratio of xyz limited is given to be 3 is to 1 the liquid ratio of the same company is 2 is to 1 if the value of stock is 1 lakh 50,000 we are required to calculate the value of current assets and current liabilities so now students this question involves application of both current ratio and liquid ratio now coming to the formula for current ratio what is current ratio current ratio is equal to current assets upon current liabilities since both current assets and current liabilities are not given let us assume any one of them to be x so in this question let current liabilities be x b rupees x now students coming to current ratio current ratio current ratio is equal to current assets upon current liabilities that is current assets divided by current liabilities now in this question current ratio is given to be 3 is to 1 so putting 3 is to 1 here current assets are not given to us so we'll write current assets as it is and we have assumed the current liabilities to be x now cross multiplying we will get a relation that is current assets would be equal to 3 times x where x implies current liabilities so we can say that current assets would be 3 times the current liabilities let us mark this as our equation number 1 now the other part that is given here is liquid ratio liquid ratio is given to be 2 is to 1 so let us come to the formula for liquid ratio liquid ratio is equal to liquid assets upon current liabilities so students liquid ratio is equal to current assets upon current liabilities in this question liquid ratio is given to be 2 is to 1 so we'll put 2 is to 1 in place of liquid ratio and current liabilities will put as x so 2 upon 1 is equal to liquid assets upon x again by cross multiplying we will get liquid assets as 2 times the x we will put this as equation number 2 so now remember students liquid assets are equal to 2x that is 2 times the current liabilities coming back to equation number 1 we had calculated that current assets were equal to 3 times the current liabilities so now let us relate these two and find the value of current assets and current liabilities how are we going to do that we know that liquid assets can be expressed as current assets minus stock so we will use that relation that is liquid assets are equal to current assets minus stock minus prepaid expenses also there but since in this case prepaid expenses are not mentioned so we will assume them to be zero so students by equation number two liquid assets were equal to 2x by equation number one current assets were equal to 3x and the value of stock is given to be 1 lakh 50,000 now shuffling the sides 1 lakh 50,000 when it comes on to the left hand side it will become positive this is equal to 3x minus 2x 
that means x is equal to 1 lakh 50,000 now we had assumed x to be current liabilities so this implies current liabilities are current liabilities are equal to rupees 1 lakh 50,000 so we have calculated current liabilities the other part that we are required to calculate is current assets so go back to equation number one in equation number one we had clearly established a relationship that is current assets are equal to three times x current assets are equal to three times x so this is equal to three into one lakh fifty thousand that is rupees 4 lakh 50,000 so students according to this question this business has current assets of 4 lakh 50,000 and current liabilities of 1 lakh 50,000 